Today, I wanted to make a very quick video about this Unity spaceship demo that I've been working on. It's this cool little AAA benchmark that you guys can all try. It's available right now uh, via test flight in the description. Just note it requires a device with a A17 Pro chip or later right now. So the spaceship demo is a AAA playable first person tech showcase that is built with Unity's visual effect graph and high definition render pipeline, HDRP. It features advanced lighting, dense particle effects and highly detailed environments, and it targets PS4 grade visuals. Apple actually showcased this demo back in 2020 at WWDC. The demo was used to showcase AAA graphics potential on modern Macs. I also made a port of the Mac demo a few years ago, and if you've been following me, you may remember I put it up on GitHub. There is actually an official native Mac port from Unity and Apple, which is available on GitHub. I've linked all of this in the description. The demo is exactly the same as PC, just with some of the uh, UI and so forth changed. So it includes the full demo, which is a playable scene. You can explore the ship freely and have a look at all the pretty visuals and effects. I haven't added touch controls and I don't think I can be bothered and I don't think it's really worth my time. So this scene requires a controller. It's really cool just walking around the spaceship and looking at all of the visuals that are on offer. It's a very short scene. It goes for like three minutes. So yeah, it uh, it's, it's it's nothing special, but it's just, it's very pretty. There's also a full benchmark mode that plays the three minute scene automatically and reports your performance when complete. It shows the resolution scaling, quality preset, anti-aliasing option, average FPS, worst and best FPS, frame time, and device hardware information. Unlike the original PC version, I've added frame stability. This highlights the 95th and 5th percentile frame rates, which give a much better idea of real-world smoothness than average FPS alone. The 95th percentile reflects heavier moments where frame pacing matters most, while the 5th percentile shows the best case performance during lighter scenes. I want to say a big thank you to Nat Brown for suggesting frame stability here. So this is really cool and I want to just say a big thank you for your help there. It's worth noting HDRP is not officially supported on mobile or in Xcode. So the performance here is not as good as it could be. But in my opinion, it's still a cool little demo of AAA graphics on iPhone and iPad. Unlike the original version, I've also added a shader pre-warm step on first install. At the moment, this process lasts several minutes and it looks like the app has crashed, but it hasn't. And it only captures around 50% of the shaders. I will be working on improving this, but I'm not very smart, so I don't know if I actually can. As a result, you will see noticeable stuttering during your first benchmark run or playthrough due to shader compilation, but it's already dramatically better than the original PC version. So if you're testing the benchmark results, it's best to show the second or third run. In the options menu, I have completely altered it compared to what you see on PC. You can change the resolution scale from 100%, which is native, 75%, and 50% of native res. Right now, the UI is scaling down too, which I don't want. I hope to fix this so it stays at native in a future update, if I can work it out. Unity absolutely loves using DRS on mobile by default, and I have disabled it everywhere, 
So the game uses fixed scaling, which is confirmed by the metal HUD when changing the resolution. You can switch between low, high, and ultra graphics preset, as well as different anti-aliasing options. Do note that there are some weird visual artifacts on high graphics that I will be investigating, but I don't really know. I don't really know what it is because I'm not really a developer. Uh, I'm just a tech enthusiast. Finally, I've added ProMotion support, which allows you to test the game above 60 FPS on 120 Hz displays. The demo makes use of several Xcode features. I've enabled the increased memory limit entitlement, which allows the app to exceed the default memory cap. Without this, the app literally crashes on iPhone as it cannot exceed 4 gig of memory usage. I hope in the future Apple actually improves this on iPhone so we can use closer to 8 gig or 12 gig on the iPhone 17 Pro Max. On my iPad Pro with 16 gig of RAM, with it disabled, we only have access to a little over 4 gig of memory. And with it enabled, we now have access to the full 16 gig. So this tool is essential to avoid crashes here. Sustained execution is also enabled, allowing the app to maintain performance once the system starts throttling. Even with this enabled, the demo will still throttle your iPhone or iPad to very high levels. This is just unfortunately unavoidable with how these devices are cooled. Game mode is enabled as well, so it should be active most times you launch the app. This is one of the reasons we see many mobile games launching with game mode disabled. Developers often don't manually enable it in Xcode. In fact, I don't know why Apple just doesn't enable it by default. Why do we actually have to add this? And that's basically it, guys. It's a pretty simple demo, but I think it's a nice little showcase of AAA graphics running on iPhone and iPad, even if technically this is just a PS4 grade demo. There are two things I want to add in the future if I can work it out, and that is I want to add Metal Effects which is currently disabled in settings. I'm very close to working it out, but I just can't get it to work at runtime. The original Mac version also includes other upscaling solutions like AMD FSR1, but I have sadly removed these as they are not fully supported with HDRP on mobile at the moment, and they keep disabling at runtime. So they were kind of redundant here. I also want to add HDR support. Right now, the game is using SDR, which I'm a little sad about. Since this demo uses HDRP, HDR would be a very nice test on mobile, but I am having some compatibility issues with some of these frameworks right now, and I will be investigating. And that's pretty much it. I've been working on this demo for about three years. Um, which is crazy, and it's so cool to have finally put it out. It's very buggy. It's very buggy, so expect uh, weird things to happen sometimes. Uh, HDRP is not fully supported on mobile, so it's kind of out of my control. And I'm not really a developer. I'm just a tech enthusiast. I don't know anything about coding. I just know a lot about the mechanical stuff of getting this type of things to work in mobile, if that makes sense, like changing the UI and adding some some features in Xcode and, and so forth. I also really got to give full credit to this amazing package on GitHub for Unity that allows HDRP to build on unsupported devices like Android, iOS, and Switch. This basically is the whole reason this is possible. So thank you to these awesome people. I've linked this GitHub page in the description. Um, I just want to say this has taught me so much over the past three years, uh, so much about optimizing games for, for Apple platforms. And it's been really fun and it's been really annoying because it's really addicting. And I, I've spent way too much time in this and I don't think 
I don't think this video is going to get like, like much views at all. So uh, <laughs> it's probably been a bit of a waste of my time, but at the, at, the, at the same time, it's also taught me a lot, which has helped me to, to produce better videos and have a, a better understanding of, of how games are running on Apple platforms. And I also want to say a big thank you to Elvarels who have helped me quite a lot with this demo over the past few months. I'm sorry about all my annoying messages, but I just thank you so much. Give the game a go and let me know how it goes. And you can also report some feedback using the test flight app as well, if you want. And yeah, have fun.